Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Lorian Tech, and today we are going to do an unboxing video. I just got this today. This is the KW suspension coilover setup for the DeLorean. I ordered this from Reed Performance and it arrived in only three weeks, so not bad. Originally they were saying four to ten weeks, so three weeks can't really beat that. As far as the DeLorean suspension upgrades that I've been wanting to do, so this will complete my suspension upgrade for the entire car. So after much deliberations on what suspension system to go with, this is what I've decided on. Did a lot of research on this, compared it against all of the other options out there for the DeLorean, and let's go ahead and uh, unbox this. comes with a KW tool kit. So let's take a look and see what's in here. Honestly, I don't know what to expect. I, I've seen photographs of this thing. Um, wow, this is pretty neat. A bunch of, a bunch of stickers here. Okay. Like the technical documents. So I am going to drop in the description a whole background on KW suspension. So here we go with all of the documentation on how to install. Okay, cool. It's like a, it's kind of like a brochure, or at least a, an envelope for the stuff that you get with it. All right, so here's the tool for adjusting the ride height. So there you go. That's pretty cool. And it looks like you get what appears to be an extra dial for uh, adjusting the damping on the shocks. They are, they are adjustable. And then, take a look at this. <laughs> oh man, very nice stainless steel construction. Everything's all basically pre assembled. Oh, it's really light. Mm -hmm. Rear coilovers right here. So the shorter ones are the front ones. Very cool. Well, I'm impressed, and I can't wait to get these installed. Just commenting about the. The craftsmanship here, it's pretty high quality stuff. I mean, right out of the box, it's very nice looking. So, so adjustability is easily accomplished just by turning the collar, rotating the collar downward or upward depending on how <laughs> how high you want the car to be, which this is gonna be pretty cool. So the suspension is adjustable, both ride height and damping 
in the front and the rear of the car. That's kind of what sold me on this. So it looks like the suspension damping adjustment is actually done here at the very top. And you just use the little tool that they provide and it's an Allen wrench. Basically just goes inside here like this and you can pretty much just turn it whichever way you want to adjust the damping. And looking at the instructions, they don't recommend running it all the way soft or all the way hard. The instructions are actually pretty cool. Um, half of it's in German with the ride height adjustment tool they provide. Um, let me just use that on here. There's also a, a little um, Allen screw in there, a set screw that you can use to lock down uh, this spring perch or the spring collar here um, along the body of the shock. So it says here, um, our adjustable competition shock absorber is based on the KW twin tube damping system and features independent rebound adjustment depending on the ceiling and the adjusting system of the individual kit. Our systems may be charged with pressures of three to eight bars or without any pressure at all. So adjusting rebound, the rebound adjustment is positioned in most cases at the end of the piston rod. Please be sure to use the supplied KW adjustment wheel on the extruded tab adjuster for all adjustments. Place the KW adjuster on the adjustment Allen bolt. That'd be right here or at the very top. Turn the adjuster counter to the right clockwise until it stops. The damper is now adjusted to full hard. Clockwise equals harder. So you turn this clockwise and you got a firmer suspension. Turn the KW adjuster counterclockwise to soften the rebound setting to the desired level. So counterclockwise will soften the ride quality. The effective adjustment rate is from 0 to 16 clicks. Attention, never drive the vehicle with the shock absorber set to full hard or full soft. Never apply any force to the adjusting mechanism of the shock absorber. As soon as you reach the end of the adjustment range, you should rec you will recognize a certain resistance. Stop turning to avoid damage to the bottom valve. Rebound adjusting principles. In general, a soft rebound adjustment provides a comfortable ride at low vehicle speeds, but the vehicle will have less stability at higher speeds, especially on the front axle. Vehicle will tend to float at higher speeds. <laughs> no, uh, no doubt there. A hard rebound adjustment offers more stability, but could reduce vehicle grip, i.e. the vehicle will tend to skip across road imperfections, reducing traction. So then it just kind of tells you how to make the adjustments right here. So what I like about these instructions, they are actually specific to the DeLorean. These aren't just generic uh, instructions that are in here. So these are specific to the car, as you can see by these photographs. So it gives you some general mounting specifications right here. You get torque specifications. So it does say that this particular coilover is for the DeLorean DMC-12 in the instructions. So it's not like these are just generic instructions that you're gonna have to figure out. So that's a plus. So overall, these look pretty awesome. I'm really looking forward to getting these installed and driving to see how they feel. Um, reason why I'm going with these is because Suspension on my car is just, it, it's kind of done. Um, it's the original suspension. I've got 97,000 miles on the car. Rattles, it vibrates. The ride quality is not that good. It's just, it just feels like, it just feels old. And I want to modernize the car. So I did my research. I looked at all the options out there. This one looked like the best one to go with. So this is what I went with. So stay tuned for the installation video. And if you have any questions on these, just go ahead and drop those down in the comments. Thanks for watching.